Good evening. Hello, Larissa. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, good. Hello, Mauricio. Teacher, va a disfrutar ayer, sabe que me había conectado y a saber qué pasó, mi computadora me sacó y pasé intentando introducir otra vez y toda la clase se me fue en eso, no, no, no pude saber qué le pasó a mi laptop. Ya no pude. Ok, no problem, no problem. Pero este, el link sí le funciona y todo. La... No, 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 sí, pero lo que pasa es que creo que, que se reinició y nunca se volvió a reiniciar. No, pero es que ayer, ayer el internet estaba como que lento, I don't know, something happened, algo. Yes, I know. Ok, ok. Good. Pero ya, ya voy, gracias, thank you. Ok. Ok, everybody. This is what we had last night. We finish with the word power, remember? This is what we were practicing last night, yes? Casi no se escucha, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me check. Hi, everyone. In this now this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Is it okay now? Okay. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking. You can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. And share your experience. Okay, good. So this one is the, let's see, the go hiking, go swimming. Remember that with these verbs here, there are some other words that you can add. And then that's what the, the, the title here or the topic is word power. Because you can increase your vocabulary by using other other words together with these verbs. For example, you can say go hiking, go swimming, go bowling, okay, play uh, boliche, right? Bowling, go, go, uh, let's say, uh, 
go hiking, uh, go running, go jogging, go walking, okay, go dancing. Okay, all these activities, you can use them with the verb go. Uh, with have, you can use here, have. Have a class. Have a class, yes, and have fun, right? Have fun. What else? Have lunch. Mm -hmm. What more? Have a party. Okay. What else? Have a all friends. Friends. Uh, have a no friend. Have a have dinner. Okay, have dinner. Phrases that you can use with what, right? For example, have dinner. Uh, have well, a you can have a barbecue. Have a barbecue. Have a, bar have a barbecue. Uh huh. Like you said, somebody say, have friends, have barbecue, have. Uh, have a Have, Larissa? Uh, have a practice English. Have a uh, have a an English practice, okay? Have an uh, excuse me. Uh -huh. Have an English, English conversation English. practice. <laughs> yes. What else? Think about more expressions. Pra practice vocabulary. This is the idea. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Have a meeting. Have a meeting. Yes. Have dinner. Have lunch. Have breakfast. Uh, for women, for women, you can say have a baby. Okay, have a baby when you give birth. What else? Have a headache. Have a headache. Okay, remember, have a toothache. <laughs> uh -huh. Have a toothache. Have a headache. What else? Have a hungry. Have a hungry. Hungry. Uh, oh no, that would be I am hungry. Be, be hungry. Yes. A nice conversation. Have a nice conversation. Have. Have a conference. Have a conference. Have a meeting. Okay. So all these kind of words that you can use with have, and when we have meet, meet. From here, meet two friends, meet new old, people, meet new people, meet old friends, uh huh, meet uh, meet, my family, my, meet my family, meet relatives, my friend, meet, meet my friends, meet my friends, meet uh, meet classmates, okay, meet new classmates. Okay, what else? Meet Madonna. Famous people, right? Famous people. Meet, meet uh, president, meet the new boss of the company. Meet uh, the boss. Uh -huh. Meet the boss. Meet the teacher, meet the new teacher. The teacher. Meet the new student. Meet a uh, boyfriend, husband. Mm -hmm. Meet a boyfriend, husband, girlfriend. Okay. And when we have, when we use play. Play the volleyball. Play volleyball. Play soccer. Play soccer, play tennis. Play tennis. Uh-huh. Play video games. Play video games. Play cards. Teacher, uh, you play dance? No, brother. Play? Dance. No, no. That, that would be go, go dancing. Oh, go dancing. Go dancing. Yes, go dancing. 
uh, play play a movie, play music, play some music. Play basketball. Play basketball. Mm -hmm. Play right. soccer. Play football. Now, what about C? See? See? See a movie. See a movie. See what else? See pictures, right? Oh. Nice guy. <laughs> see a movie. See a beach. See a, a play. Beach. See a play. See the beach. See the beach. Okay. See the stars. See the rain. See the rain. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yes, see the rain. <laughs> See the sky. Uh huh. See the sky. See a nice guy. See a nice guy. Correct. Yes. Okay. See a. Uh, see a door. See a house. See a new house. Okay. You say I. This morning I saw in past tense. See the sunshine. See the sunshine. Uh, yes, see the sunshine. Okay. See? See a rain. See, see, the, rain. see the rain, yes. <laughs> yes, you can see the rain. Okay, if you see all this uh, vocabulary, you can practice it, right? With the vocabulary that you already have. Take, take, um, take a class, right? Take a bus. Take a bus, take pictures. Yes. Take a uh, what? Shower. Take a shower. <laughs> yes, take a shower. But you don't say take a shower, right? Take a shower. Uh, take take a number when you are in the in the bank or the supermarket, you say, take a number, okay, to stay in line, uh, take a seat, what else, take a book, take the books, take a break, take a break, uh -huh. <laughs> Take a break, take a vacation, right? So we need all these things. Okay. Then. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yes, good. Share. Your now, what is the past tense of go? Went. Went. Have. Had. Meet. Met. 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 Play. Play. Played. Played. Uh -huh. See. So. So. Take. Took. Took. Okay. So you can use all the same verbs with the same words that we used in past tense. I went hiking, I went swimming. I had a picnic. I had lunch. I had a meeting. I had a friend. Meet. I met my family last month. I met my, uh, I met my new students last month. I met the new teacher uh, last week. Okay, so you can use all of these verbs also in past tense. Okay, in the next exercise after the reading, you are going to use all these activities in past tense, okay? Now look at the next exercise and you will see. This one, okay. Mauricio, can you please read this objective here? Um, by the end of the class, you will develop a skill in reading for 
main ideas and details. And details, okay, here we go. Now, okay, pay attention to, to the pronunciation, the verbs in past tense, uh, and the uh, intonation, right? And after, you are going to create your own sentences. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping. Okay. Now check the vocabulary and see if you have any questions about the meaning of the words or pronunciation. Mm. Uh, question, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, no me quedo muy claro. El último. Eh, Eddie. Mm -hmm. oh. Quiero ver qué palabra era. No, no quiero ver. No, solo la traducción de de camping, nada más. Okay. No the palabras que no. The campsite. Uh -huh. This one? ¿Cuál es la, tra la traducción de la palabra? This one? Primera, mm -hmm. primera vez que yes. escucho. Es un campo. De, he said, we left on Saturday, drove to the campsite. Es el campamento, right? Campamento. The campsite. Okay, mm -hmm. okay teacher. Okay. Tenía. All right, no problem. Anybody else? No. Teacher, este, en el de Robert, uh -huh. y en Cabal al inicio que dice, I had an, esa palabra. Awful, awful, uh -huh. terrible, bad, awful. This is when you, when you eat something or drink something and it's, oh my God, this medicine, for example. Okay. okay. Uh, for example, who likes the medicine? I said, oh, wax. Then it says, awful. Okay, good. What else? Teacher in uh -huh. Kelly. Which one? In Kelly, in uh -huh. uh, donde dice her parents serve. Serve, no sé qué significa. Uh -huh. Her parents served. Uh, sirvieron, right? Serve uh -huh. a wonderful meal, wonderful food. Okay. A wonderful meal, served. 
Serve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you serve, serve, right? Served in past tense. Vámonos. En la misma de Kelly, teacher, donde dice, she looked fantastic, she wore a beautiful dress. Wore, como, ¿qué sería? Es un verbo. Past tense, the past tense of wear. Of wear. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. She, the past tense of wear is she wore. She wore. Uh, she wore. Okay. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. Eh, tengo dudas con el uso del took en Robert y Erin, donde dice um, it took three hours. Mm -hmm. Y también yes. dice my friends took me. Mm -hmm. Les tomó. They took me. It took three hours. ¿Cuánto le toma de aquí a Santa Ana? It took me, let's say, one hour or 30 minutes. The time that it takes. And here, está como tomar. And the other one is, they took me, me llevaron. The two forms. Yes? Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now we are going to go back. Oh, wait. I'm going to sent you this information to your WhatsApp in the chat. Let me see, this is, okay, here. Now you're going to get it. Okay, now you have a picture of this free, uh, Weekend stories, and now you're going to work in groups. Okay, you're gonna have wait. So we have conversation. Yeah, six groups, okay? Now, what are, you going, what are you going to do? Something very easy, okay? Now, imagine, think, okay? That you are, a, that you have, hicieron una salida, you had a trip the, on the weekend. And then you can say, okay, last, uh, uh, last Saturday, we had a great trip, we had a great trip. We went to the beach and we had a, a very wonderful lunch. Or oh, we had a picnic at the beach. We ate fish and we uh, drank a lot of sodas. Uh, we took a lot of pictures, and we went swimming in the, let's say, uh, and we went swimming uh, uh, to, the, to the ocean, okay? So then you can use any expressions, ideas, activities that you did, like if you had that weekend, and then you, after that, you can, you are going to share. Después lo vamos a compartir aquí en el grupo. Okay, okay. Inventen esas oraciones de una salida inventada y luego vamos a compartirlo aquí entre todos. Yes. Les he enviado ahí en el WhatsApp para que tengan una idea de cómo, de cómo hacerlo. Pero con solo que escriban las oraciones, it's sufficient, it's enough. Ahorita en el chat. Perdón. En este momento en el chat. Yes, sí, ahorita lo vamos a hacer. No, ahorita lo vamos a hacer en grupos. Ahorita lo voy a dividir en seis grupos y lo van a trabajar en parejas. Y yo lo voy a visitar en, la, en el grupo para eh, si tienen alguna duda, ¿ok? Lo vamos a hacer en diez minutos. Ok, ten minutes. ¿Listos? Here we go.
Okay. Yes, number. Okay, GVAA. Nobody here? Hello? Eh, ¿Quién es Scott GBAA? Ah, ah. No le ha llegado la invitación. Hello, hello. Hi. Día bueno. Por mí sería, ajá, por ejemplo, I had an excellent weekend. Ajá. Digamos si fue un excelente fin de, de semana, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ahorita me estoy copiando. Por ejemplo, visitamos a nuestros amigos, como digamos que es en pareja, ¿verdad? Sería... Tomando en cuenta los dos sería. Uh, sería. We. We. Digamos, we went to my friends. We visited. We visited. Uh -huh. We visited. Our friends. Our friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where, where did you go? Dinora, where did you go? Eh, we moved al, no? a la playa. We went, uh -huh. we we went, went to, to the beach. To the beach. Okay. We went to the beach. Okay. okay. Then escriba, okay, write sentences and then after we are going to la vamos a compartir, okay? Okay, but, teacher. Okay, very good. To the campsite. 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 First, we put uh, put up the tent. Tent. We bought a fire, cookie, dinner, and told a story. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fishing. I didn't re really like camping, but I. Learn it a lot, a lot. Okay. I had um. I had a a, a week off because I studied all week. I studied all. I think I studied all, all week. weekend. Okay. Ahora hagan unas oraciones en las que hicieron una 
salida en conjunto, right? Like if you went, we went to the park. Eh, y, ajá, and the activities that you, y las actividades que realizaron, right? Mm. Algo inventado, right? We went okay. to the park, we had a picnic, we play volleyball with our friends, then we, we ate pupusas and we, eh, we drank a lot of sodas and stuff like that, okay? Okay. Good. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Okay. Okay, hello. Hello, Silvia. Hello, Larissa. Okay. Disculpe, pero fíjese de que hemos decidido hacer el chat porque Silvia no escucha bien. Dice que el micrófono no está mal. Ok. Entonces, y al interés en internet porque dice que no me escucha nada, que no me dice nada. Sí, es que se, se, le se le oye como... Se le oye bien cortado, dígase. Ajá, se ve bien cortado. Su... Yes. Sí, sí, pero sí, sí, no. problemas con la conversación. Lo hicimos en chat, lo estamos haciendo en okay. chat. No problem, no problem. Entonces, eh, cuando... En privado lo estamos haciendo. Sure, it's okay, no problem. Okay, good. Okay, teacher. Take your time, no problem. Okay, no problem. You ready? Are yes, you, okay. Yes. Perfect. So you finished. Perfect. Eh, ya casi solo, solo una pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Digamos cuando estamos hablando de un lugar, yes, digamos see. que fuimos al digamos al lado al lado de Cuatepeque, va a ir we went the or we went to we went to okay we went to Cuatepeque Lake okay. We went to uh, I don't know to the, to uh, to El Boquerón, right? We went to Ilamatepec volcano. Yes, two. Yes. Okay, you. okay, you're welcome. Right, the YouTube I, uh -huh. I got last last my home. Sí, así sería. Si sí, lo quiero decir en pasado, llegué tarde a mi casa. ¿O oh, no? Uh, sí, no. ¿Sabes? No, pero ahí... <laughs> what, is the what is the sentence, Sara? <laughs> I got... No. Mm -hmm. Sí. I got... I got... Last... No, I got... Mm. Si sí, me faltan sentences, tiene razón, porque no puedo decir, no puedo decir, I got lots, I got my home, I got home, me falta, I got uh -huh. home, I got home, um, I got home. Sí, así sería, ¿verdad? Yes, I got, I got home. home. Last Friday. No. Last sí. Friday. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, I I had a, a interesting day. Mm -hmm. I had. We had. Um, I had the no. I had uh, 
Listen to music. I listen to music only. I listen to music. I listen. Uh, to I music. listen to music. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had a. I had a great eating. No, a great. I a, had a great food. <laughs> I had great food. O sea, week. quiero decir, uh -huh, and the week, uh -huh. uh, only. <laughs> okay. The, uh, <laughs> la idea es que compartan un viaje que hicieron juntos y que eso les, para que digan we. Okay, for example, we went, ah. we went to the beach. Okay, and we had a picnic. We ate a lot of food. We went swimming. We drank a lot of uh, sodas. We, uh, we, 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 what? We saw the sunshine. Okay, so the idea is all the activities that you can do at the beach or in the park or at the mall. Well, so, uh, no, bueno, bueno. Is, and uh, let's like say, for example, if you go into the mall, what activities you can do. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Thank you. Um. Okay. <laughs> We had a interest day in the park. We had the we had to the animals. Okay, we had we had an excellent. Mm -hmm. We had an excellent weekend. We had an 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 a n an excellent weekend. Weekend. Yes. Hey, who is GVA? Do you know? GVA. No ha participado todavía. Aquí está. Okay, good. No quiere. Yo hasta no, ahorita no me habíamos dado cuenta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No nos habíamos fijado. Okay, it's an spy, es una espía, maybe. Right? Okay. Okay, good. Now uh, we're going to go back to the groups and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Okay, nos vemos. Okay. See you in one minute. Yes, yes, okay, now we're going to see the, um, 
the groups that we had, we had Dinora and Godofredo, right? Okay, read your sentences. What did you, what did you do last weekend? What are the activities that you did? Dinora. Dinora, Dinora, Dinora. Yes, yeah, she's. Okay. Una cada una. Uh -huh, yes, alternate. Good, good idea. Lo que pasa es que no las iba copiando. O sea, pensé que tú las ibas. You didn't take a picture. Por eso. Okay. Go ahead, Godofredo. Bueno, uh, we have an excellent weekend. Right. Dinora and I. <laughs> We went to visit our friends. We went to the beach. It was a beautiful day. In the night, sing it. We, in the night, we sang, the past tense of sing. We sang. Uh -huh. You sang, uh -huh. you sang, sang, and played the guitar. And played, and played, played the guitar. Okay. Uh -huh play the guitar. Okay, remember that the idea, okay, very good, Godofredo, thank you, thank you, Nora. The idea here is, you know, uh, first, to practice verbs in past tense, and second, also the, the pronunciation, right? We have, for example, play, played, okay, sing, sang, okay? So this is the, the objective, objective. In play, yes, played, uh -huh, played. Yes, yeah, singer también, pero solo sing. No, sing is irregular. Ah. Then you oh, say yeah. sing, sang. Is oh, yeah. S A N G. Sing, sang. Okay? Sing, yeah. sang. Good. Okay. Okay, gracias. thank you. Uh, let's see, the other one is uh, Alf well, Alfredo. I don't know if he got to the group. Josabet and Mauricio. Um, Mauricio Alarcón. Okay. Okay. And, Read your sentences. Eh, nosotros no las escribimos, pero sí las medio hicimos la historia. Okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we had a great day in Park uh, Cuscatlan. Cuscatlan Park. Uh -huh. In this place, uh, uh, eight um, pupusas ride a horse. Rode, rode a horse. Rode, rode a house, horse and um, enjoy Coca Cola. And. <laughs> uh, Y, y no me acuerdo qué otra más. Ok, yo sé. Yes, uh -huh. We really enjoyed it because we played soccer and, and we, we also had hamburger, hamburger with Coca Cola. With Coke, uh -huh, yeah, with Coca Cola. Ok, good. Excellent. Ok, you have there the past tense of ride. Ok. And then you have right, past tense is road. So you rode horses, okay? Past tense, road. Thank you. Okay, the other one is Larissa and Sylvia. Probably Sylvia, can you read them? Okay. Uh, Larissa went to uh, the beach last week last week uh -huh. when when went to family with her she, family with your family she she eat the fish okay and potato she ate the fish uh -huh. and potato uh, she she was uh, very happy Okay. And only. <laughs> and only, right? 
Yes. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay. So just remember we said uh, past tense of eat is eight. Okay, eat eight. You can see eight. there. Okay. Yes, eight, eight in the chat. I put it in the chat. Okay. Okay, okay. good. So you eh, have... tiene, creo que inconveniente con Yes, and with the microphone, yes, and the she told me the microphone sí. and the internet. Okay. okay, thank you, Sylvia. Okay. Okay, so the next one is uh, Esther and Luis. Eh, teacher, nosotros hicimos una, como una historia. Okay. De, de lo que vivimos. That what you did. Okay, okay, go ahead, no problem. And last Saturday we had a very nice trip. We went to Coatepec Lake. We took a jet ski. Uh, we ate a delicious fish. We played volleyball with our family. And after we went to El Amatepec Volcano. Volcano. Mm -hmm. And we went for a walk. We saw many trees, flowers, plants, and the blue sky while we ate French fries. Mm -hmm. okay. In the night in the night we went to Planes de Randeros and we ate pupusas. Wow, that was a nice trip. Huh? Okay. It was a beautiful day and we had a lot of fun. Yes, I, I I bet you did. I bet you did. With all those activities. Okay, thank you very much, Luis. Anything else, is there? No more? Okay. No. All right. So then the next one we have is Mauricio and Sarah, right? Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> um, no las adoptamos tampoco, pero. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. Um, the idea is to practice the verbs in past tense. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Um, um, first, we got up uh, early uh, on, on the weekend. Um, then we took, took a shower, pero por separado. Ella por ahí, por acá. Then you say, I took a shower and I took a shower, took a shower um, too. Uh -huh. uh, uh, she took a shower. Okay. Um, oh, we, we took a shower in different bathrooms, okay? Ah, in different bathrooms, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me dio risa. Este, um, then we we meet we sería we met no we met name, we right? met uh -huh. mm -hmm. we met for breakfast okay and and eat pupusas and 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 eat pupusas eight pastas eight. Uh -huh. and eight pupusas okay um, um, I don't know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, good. That's uh, for the beginning of the day is good. Perfect. Okay. What did you do after that, Sara? We went to? We had a roll in bicycle. Okay, we rode bicycle. Road. Yeah. Bicycle. We have played soccer. We played soccer. And we had a great day. And you had a great day. Okay, you see, that's the compliment. Okay, so after you did all the breakfast and everything, then you rode bicycles. And after that, you play soccer. So you did a lot of exercise. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now we're going to, well, we're going to continue with the past tense. I'm going to introduce for next Monday. Okay.
it's kind of slow. Okay, so that's the end of the... Uh, please uh, turn off your microphone, please. Para que no haya interferencia. Good, thank you. Okay, uh, that was the end of this section four. Now I'm going to introduce the section five. This is the last section of this level, of this course, okay? Eh, por favor, hay que llenar la plataforma todos los ejercicios hasta, la, hasta ya la cuatro. Y si alguno ya va con la cinco en adelante, no problem. Pero sí asegúrense de que ya tengan todos los ejercicios completos, ok, que no les haga falta nada porque así si terminamos la otra semana tienen que tener por lo menos el 80% de, de nota o completado los ejercicios para poder iniciar el siguiente curso lo antes posible, ¿va? para no tardarnos dos semanas o mucho, ok, para que sea por lo menos one week, ok, así que si tienen dudas, preguntas en este fin de semana me las pueden hacer algún ejercicio, algún problema. Eh, si es técnico, vemos cómo les ayudamos con desde inglés corporativo y si es de alguna otra consulta de, de, de gramática o algo, then you can, uh, me pueden preguntar a mí. Ok. But please complete the platform this weekend. It's very, very important okay, that we do it. Ok. So then... Uh, Let's see here, uh, Mr. Nelson, can you please read this objective here? Okay. Uh, uh, bueno, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statement with the best with the pass of B. Additional, you will practice a conversation which illustrate, illustrates illustrate how this topic is used in a real the life setting. Setting. Okay. Setting. Okay, good. So then here the emphasis is to use uh, the affirmative or negative or positive and negative sentences with the past tense of be. Remember that in the section four, we study the past tense, but it was all the actions, right? But now we're going to use was and where. Okay, zero star, but in past tense. Okay, now pay attention to the video. Okay. And listen to this explanation. No se escucha, teacher. Okay. Let me check again because I'm already. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of B. Now yes, now you, no problem? No problem. Okay. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. 
You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying we're not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. You finish this activity. Okay, here, just uh, I know that you probably know it already, but just to refresh your memory, remember this when we say I, we use was. Remember that the verb to be in present has three forms, right? And they are am. S and R. Okay, you say I am, but in past I was. In present you say you are, but now in past you say you were. She is, is she was. We are, we were. They are, they were. Here we are missing it. Then in the negative form you say I wasn't. So we have for I, he, she, and it, we're going to use was in affirmative and wasn't in negative statements. And in, uh, let's say that when we talk about you in singular, 
we, plural, they, plural, and you in plural, we're going to use where. Affirmative and weren't in negative. Okay? Okay, can you tell me something, a sentence using I was about you? For example, where were you born? Mauricio, where were you born? Mauricio Perez. Um, I was born in a um, country or city? The city. Um, Here is the city. Uh, I was born in Sonsonate. I was born in Sonsonate. Okay, good. And Sara, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. Good. And you, uh, Josephette, where were you born? I was born in San Sanate City. Okay. So then we have that Mauricio and Josephette were, were born in San Sanate because it's they, it's two. Mauricio was born in Sonsonate. Josephette was born in Sonsonate. Then they were born in Sonsonate. They weren't negative. They weren't born in San Salvador. Okay. So this is you know what we are going to to use next uh, let's say to practice. Uh, next week on Monday and we are going to continue practicing the other verbs in past tense okay people questions about the platform please don't forget that you have to complete all the exercises okay work hard and practice as much as you can okay so I'll see you next Monday have a nice weekend Okay. Be good. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Hey, good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Uh, thank, thank you. Teacher. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Thank you.